This isn't a no- Yeah, the symbols seem a bit arbitrary. Arbi yeah. Yeah, that's the color. That's the whole kind of idea of the of the puzzle is that you can kind of easily skip out. Like Dawn is supposed to be the one on the left, and Dusk is the one on the right, or uh, the one with the uh, kind of the larger sun, and it's like it's coming down. That's what you're trying to decipher. The rest of it yeah. is where you're trying to figure out what they actually mean. Yeah, if you if you get that. And of course, then the other trick is is to get the actual panels to match up so they actually make sense. Because it's all, I think it's all based essentially based off the uh, a day. Yeah. So it's the it's the it's the passage of the sun. What the? Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is fine. We're now uh, going back in time, Paul. What? Yep. Yep. That's that's this is fine. Save game. What? So, Paul, did you ever want to be a, an ancient Aztec warrior? Return to game. Here is no. Whose magic summoned me? Well, now you have your chance. These people have called me. I heard their voices. Yep. We are uh, now an Aztec there? warrior. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirits, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand, Omek, the holy warrior. <laughs> Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is T. Well, at least being nice and direct. I am yeah, the exactly. Uh, so, Paul, try and make sense of this. Um, I, I point blank refuse to. <laughs> None of this could make sense. I, I'm pretty sure they didn't even have this kind of architecture, and those bowing people are out of goddamn sequence, and it's following the fuck out of me. It's like the second to the right is just completely half assing it. He's, so, he, he's got a bad back. He has so, like, he's trying his best. What right? nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. <laughs> You haven't even seen it. Quite frankly, the architecture is impressive. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. So this, this, the, this, the solution to this puzzle is basically slay Ketsuquat. If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? Um, and I suppose just murdering the fuck out of your way out of it just isn't doable. Well, we are a mighty warrior again. This, as you see, yeah, I know you're having a cross neck the hero last time. We couldn't. Yes. And quite frankly, the Jaguar we were someone who apparently can solo goddamn army themselves. We weren't that proficient at murder. This is true. So, like, that's it's another kind of the running Her theme is where, like, we have to show some form of heroism to get to the next level. With the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. So, essentially, Quetzalcoatl has killed all the uh, Your tail towns warriors. Told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. Mm. And now their shades roam the land, trapped huh. here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? As ghosts? No. Nay. That's not how Feel this works. One. They are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle huh. their foes yeah. has driven them mad. Well, I, I guess... They're, they're kind of stuck in pain, when they need to, you know, become in more pain as their hearts get ripped out for some reason. Yeah, I think the idea is that because they've basically been, they died via magic, they basically can't escape to the afterlife. So you're kind of, in a way, by like getting rid of Quetzalcoatl, you're also freeing them from their, uh, you know, prison, I guess. So now so let's go... Quetzalcoatl did? These are the eh. sacred fire. Yes and no. Uh, like... This I'm is sorry, very... is that sacred fire not burning properly? Can you fix that? <laughs> uh, it, that's not it's part so of our... Uh, still dwells here. Part of the solution to the puzzle, I'm afraid. That we have to... That, that's a council issue, Paul, you know? Spirit, what say you? Shame. Eternal shame. 
Apparently he was armed with a cricket bat. I thought they had kind of in this world, fallen hero. Hardwood sticks with like um oops, with obsidian spikes in it. Like uh, as in spears? Yeah. No, into the side, kind of like a, a sharp club or stone sword, I guess. Oh yeah, I know what type of kettle. Yeah, like the, it'd be like obsidian spikes into the sides of that, mm. so it could like still do it like a chop that would what was your station pretty as badly spirit? wreck you. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Veteran of many battles, younger brother of mixed So you're gonna have to Why do you uh, hang your stand in for the next while one. because we're gonna spend the next couple of minutes talking to ghosts in order to see okay. Thankfully, I'm... this guy kind of feels the same with all the rest of it, so the other ones are fairly quick conversations, but, uh... Okay, why do you yeah. bet that this dude is this just is that guy from the future and he's got a gun? <laughs> no, it's not as simple as that, I'm afraid. We are, in fact, an they Aztec have with We the have statue, to act as such. He repays them with destruction. Well, to be fair, I mean, if everything in mythology was just... Just... A lot of fucking carnage. Spirit, yeah, it was a lot you? of it was was about sacrifices. And shit. All could not defeat one. Mm -hmm. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Mixcoatl, eldest war chief, elder brother to Witzela. Who we were just talking to. So the whole idea of this okay. of this uh, eventual puzzle you is that we have to uh, remember these guys' names yes. and remember who is the youngest to the oldest. Yes. That's the whole idea. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yes. So uh, that's why you're gonna basically have to what talk to these guys and spirit? figure out where they are. War chief, eldest warrior. Okay, yeah, and this kind of thing where I just get like a piece, a bit of pen and pencil and paper and. Yeah. It's sort of that way. Definitely, that's the that's the only way you can kind of do this part. Unless you're like really good How at convoluted uh, Aztec names. Honor not. Yeah, because uh, defeated by only one man. Yeah, like trying to do it otherwise is uh, pretty uh, irritating. Like it's grand when you do have like the youngest and the oldest, but it's all it's golding lake of lava. Like everyone else be relative. Yeah, yeah everyone else be like relative to this, relative to that. Big head. Big head. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. Because you can That's... have good sacrifices too. Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. Is it? It's unclear as to what's desecration and what's not desecration is <laughs> culture. This one True, yeah. appears to have died very young. Spirit, what say you? One battle died never to see honor on the battlefield. So it seems like we have our youngest uh, recruit what here. Name did you go by in this world? I'm sorry, the, the first guy we talked to was the youngest. No, he is the second eldest. The youngest warrior of clan, unproven. So, as I said, we have the, uh, was the youngest this, now. Your That's first good. We know her, who, who's the start point and who's the end of the The fun part is down the middle. Never to fight oh, joy. Yes. You see, the real kicker here is that if you, you can solve the... You as can, warrior, spirit? You'll talk to, like, five spirits overall. Clan. And you could, and you may be able to try to solve the puzzle. I the problem is, there's a sixth one. And you have to uh, basically get at, you have to gain access to his area first and then talk to him. So you have to like solve a few puzzles on the go here in this area. So this is one of the longest levels, I guess, because like you actually move a lot slower, or at least it feels like you do, and you have to just like exercise all this conversation to save this town. So it's a. Uh, so what, is he just prep talking, like pep talking at these guys? Yeah, a little bit. I 
think all mech is supposed to be some sort of Mayan motivational speaker. I mean, that or the crazy person just thinks that's how heroic characters went to act. This yep, spirit that's is entirely possible for too. I mean, spirit, that, that's how the heroic Gromnak act, acted, so, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Again, it's another part of the theme here is, is to be a fighter, warrior, someone something to believe in, blah, blah, blah. What name did you go by in this world, fallen so, hero? It's almost like it's an aspect of his personality. Oh, the fierce one. Hmm. So the thing is now, How this is where it gets tricky because these day. guys don't just don't say oh, if they're older or young, oldest or youngest. They're oldest in comparison yeah. to someone else. So that's when you have to get your order correct. What was your station as well? That sounds like pain. Mm -hmm. And is I guess the puzzle in general. Yes. So he is, I guess, the set. He is the second youngest. So now you can. Fear not, that young down. warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought our clan. <laughs> Quick to battle. Yes, the hubris, the hubris of lions. Quick to die. Guess they got wrecked pretty badly. Oh yeah. So there's another one down the road here, which we'll talk to. There he is. An unhappy spirit. Now this guy in particular is special because he's guarding a temple. There's a spirit. three temples what we have to you? deal with in this area. We all basically have to key each single one. Okay. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Epic Hawk. Fisherman? I was about to say. Yes, and warrior, and husband, and lover. Ha! Ah. Why do you stand here, fallen one? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. I don't see a body. I think the idea is that he was um, he was tasked with protecting the temple regardless. I mean no harm to so the even temple. though he's dead, he's still going to stand guard Holy against warrior. the uh, on the total. I mean, it kind of looks like that totem is about to fall off a cliff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. All seek to destroy. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Rove, words, true, act of faith, perform the so in test. In other words, we have to do something nice in order to get to the uh, wind temple. Ike, there's an oh, awful lot of proving your worth. Yes, very much so. Especially considering that, like, you've been summoned by the village shaman to come here. I meant her name. What is her name? Yeah. Reveal not on her, you will. So again, what was your station the weird as part of this area spirit? is actually trying to get to know these people first. Young it's very weird. I was much older. I mean, I guess, but. I accept your challenge, it, Shade. It, it still seems. What will be this test of faith? Cumbersome. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she even got his anniversary present. Of what kind? Lemurs, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple what? enough. I will mm -hmm. find one for her and. How special is this? What? Yeah. So basically, he got a necklace commissioned and uh, never got a chance to present it. So that's what he's uh, trying to uh, remedy here. It's almost as if perhaps that's the thing that's stopping him from dying. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah, I, I can and believe it. And more than a skeptical. Most sacred warrior, you 
must Are you confused now, Paul? A temple is talking to you. You know, I said I wasn't gonna make. I, I said I was. I was. I said I was aggressively not gonna try to make sense of this. And you know what? I'm. I'm. I, I'm feeling more confident than that. Yeah. Yeah. No, we have a talking jaguar head, basically saying you need blood and a heart that's not a heart, and you can then go into the jaguar temple. So that's again another puzzle we have to solve. So, like I said, this whole area is like you're presented all the issues all at once. And then you can kind of get into the get into the groove of actually solving them all, and they kind of do kind of fall one by one, but like the actual like cumbersome thing was actually talking to everybody first and seeing what the fuck their problems were. So let's say uh, I talk to Captain Waddle, is... shall we? Oh uh, sure. Let, let, let let's uh let's see how that goes. There he is. Oh. What's a bottle has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors? There is the evil god himself. You. Yeah. You cannot touch me. In death I have gained much power. The soul of the shaven head upon me feed my magic. Ah, okay. So He is too powerful. I must find a way to destroy the evil one. Perhaps I may find some magical talismans nearby. So yes, in order to uh, combat magic, we have to get magic. So that's again another thread we're going to pull here on this uh, level. I mean, that sounds legit. Yeah, yeah, just fight magic magic. Yeah, exactly. Fight magical magic. Um, so there is still a village here for us to, uh, to look around with. So that's what we're going to do next. So did he only kill the warriors or... He killed, yeah, he killed the warriors of the town because the rest of the civilians are basically powerless to stop a evil god. A truly venerable woman. <laughs> Harsh. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. Which we were Fucking everything was used for sacrificing. <laughs> Simple pottery. Fire the person who made it. The village is in ruins. Actually, yeah, so the boys, I was going to say, well, I guess for the civilians, it's basically fine, because, I mean, you'd kind of use warriors to defend yourself against attackers, yes. but any invaders are going to be soldiers fed to that thing, yes. so I guess you're kind of fine in that regard, but don't you buy how many fucking bodies are just in the rubble? Yeah, I, I think the I guess idea is, this is the kind of thing they can just live with. Yeah, well, I, I think the idea here is that we basically jumped in where the warriors are now dead, and like basically the villagers are just waiting to be used as sacrifices by your man. You know, that's the kind of point we're at here. So they're still in, it almost certainly fucked, but it's just like you basically have like a few minutes where they can basically summon you and stop the rot. Father to 